Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Creo plugin for Keyshot and then how to transform the animation from Creo into Keyshot. So let's start with Creo session and over here you see that I have prepared some small animation and if I will jump directly into animation and mechanism we can see here that the first analysis was created in a if I will select the edit definition, we have specified the position, analysis definition, and I have right now one servo motor. So what does it mean? I will run, and this is the really simple animation. Maybe you would like to see more in Keyshot, so I'd like to add one more servo motor. So for example, we would like to spin this component, so we can simply select and add the servo motor and I will use the ramp and for example from 0 until 10 and if you will select the graph we can see that system will after 10 second spin the model 10 degree uh, 100 degree sorry so if I will come from OK we would like to add this information in our analysis so we can jump simply to the motor and I will add the second motor and we will start from start to end. And I will run and confirm yes. So our analysis is working. And simply to say, if you would like to make the rendering directly in Creo, you are able to start application and render studio and continue with rendering in Creo. But your question directly under my video on YouTube channel was how to transform animation from Creo into Keyshot. Okay, let's start. So over here is the web page for the Keyshot and on the directly on the web page you are able to download the Creo plugin for the Keyshot. I am using Creo 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 yeah, based on the necessary things. So on my computer, I installed the Keyshot plugin for Creo 3 until 6. I can tell you it works also for Creo 8. Yep, so simply to say download and install. The system will install necessary plugin onto necessary uh, Keyshot subfolder and you are able to find these plugins and for this example it's Creo 3. And you see here that I am able to run the protica.dat. And this file is necessary apply for Creo. You can do it in two ways. I am able to go to the file option. And in the file option in the configuration editor, you can go to found and you will find the protica and if you will hit the find now over here is the config option protocol that and then you can browse necessary file apply to the config profile and then restart creo and system will automatically run keyshot plugin into creo i do not use it often so i don't want to see it every time this plugin here so i do it opposite way I do it on demand how I need it. What does it mean? In the Creo, you are able to use the command search functionality and auxiliary utility. And over here you see that is auxiliary application, but you have to see that is in the tool under utilities. What does it mean? Right now I am in the mechanical mode, so I have to cancel and go to the from the mechanism I will close and we don't need to save this analysis and in the tool is the auxiliary application yeah so you can use it directly by here or again search it's up to you if you select the auxiliary application you need to register so select register and browse to your protocadat file if you will browse you are able to select protocol.dat file and open. Then you can see that auxiliary application is not running. So please select the name and start. 
Now the application is running and what does it mean? You can close this window and over here you can see that Keyshot is here and you can directly select the rendering or export or you are able to select update automatically on manual how its system will work. I'd like to transform the animation from Creo into Keyshot. What is necessary to do? You have to select and go to the setting tab for the Keyshot plugin and set mechanism prompt for FRA file on transfer. So please select this mark and mark it. Come from OK. And now you are able to jump to the application mechanism. Run mechanism one more time. So run. Now in the playback mode, you have to select the play button and FRA file is able to select by this functionality. So please hit this button, export result to FRA file and system will create necessary file into your working directory. Yeah, you can see here that analysis definition FRA has been written to the disk. The FRA file is created. What you need to do is select the Keyshot tab and then in the render, please select export. From the export, you need to specify the name. So for example, Creo to Keyshot will be name of the BIP file for the Keyshot. And then you need to browse and select FRA file. Simple select, come from OK and you see that BIP file has been created and only needs the necessary to open BIP file in the Keyshot. Open Keyshot and simply drag and drop the BIP file into Keyshot and you are able to import. You can see that right now the mechanism is imported and all necessary information are stored with the BIP file. What does it mean if you select the animation? In the animation tab, you can see right now that Cree animation was imported. Simply hit the play button and spin model as you want. And now you are able to set your custom materials in Keyshot, simple drag and drop and apply some additional preferences for the material lights or the environment. Yeah, so for example, like this. And simply you are able to continue with the preferences in the Keyshot and specify your custom rendering. So over here, it was quick example how you are able to transform animation from Creo by the Keyshot plugin and then apply the BIP file in the Keyshot and make the rendering animation. I hope so that you like this example. Please feel free to play and if you have some results, please share it by Facebook page for k -Side. Thank you and bye-bye. Vladimir.